everyone, I'm Melissa and I'm a dancer with Dance Key West and today I'm going to teach you some ballet basics and positions. So I'm going to first start with the five basic ballet positions and we're going to use our hands for right now and pretend they're our feet. So I want you to put your hands up straight in front of you with your hands together in a nice parallel. Now we're going to go to first. So if these were your toes, you would turn your toes open. So close, open. This is first. It's like a windshield wiper or how some cars have windshield wipers like this. Some are different, but you just open to nice first. Now, if you open both hands, this is second position. So we have first and second. Now to get to third, we put half and half. So your foot would be, your heel would be in the middle of your foot if you had your feet up here. So we have first, second, and third. Now fourth, you open both. So again, we have first, second, third, and fourth. Finally, we have fifth. So fifth, you close the feet together. And this one's a little tricky because you have to have your feet turned out, but we'll get there. So we go first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And we'll do that with our feet in one second. Now we're gonna work on some point de bras, which is also our arms. So we're gonna hold our arms nice and round, like you're hugging a beach ball or bas basketball. And then you're gonna open. This is called second. It's kind of like you're a scarecrow. You know when they hang on the poles, but you don't wanna drop your elbows. You wanna keep your elbows nice and lifted. Then for third, you round one. So you're holding the beach ball with one arm, and you keep the other arm here. Fourth, you bring your arms, one arm up. High fifth, you bring both arms up. And you round your elbows, and you make a beautiful, beautiful position. So we're ready. We'll go first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now let's try our feet. So I want everyone to stand, keep their feet together, nice parallel position. Now we're gonna pick up our toes and go to first. Now let's go back in to parallel and go back to first. Excellent, now we're gonna take a step and open, and we're in second. So let's go back, and we go first and second. Now we're gonna go to third, so you take this one leg and cross it halfway in front. So we go first, second, and third. Fourth, we open up. Good, so we go first, second, third, and fourth. Now fifth, heel to toe. Just turn out, it's a little tricky. But, so you want to have, make sure one foot is like this, the other foot's crossed, you don't want to invert. I know that's really easy to do. So you want to think about your toes going out to the side. So we have parallel. We have first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now let's do it with the arms. So we have a nice round like a beach ball. First, open up like it's a scarecrow, good. Then we have one beach ball, and then with our arms nice and high, then bring both arms up. Excellent, now let's try to put our other leg in front. So we have first, and second, and third. Oh sorry, we did this one for third. And fourth, and fifth. Very good, it's okay if you do the wrong arm, or a different arm, as long as you keep the one arm low for third and high for fourth. So we have, we have first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Let's do with the other leg. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Great job. Today we're just really gonna work in first and second. Um, eventually, if we have me again, we'll do some fourth and fifth, but today we'll just do basics. So I want you to put your feet back to your toes touching and open toe first, and we're gonna bend your knees to the side. Make a diamond shape. We're gonna go plie and straighten, good and plie, and straighten. If you notice, it makes a beautiful diamond. You can color your diamond as well. I like blue, so I make a blue diamond. Good, so we're gonna push your knees to the side. Excellent, now if you have a bar or a wall, if you don't feel comfortable, hold up to something and raise your heels up and lower down. You can also keep your hands on your hips. Up and lower down. Good, let's do two plies and then two relevants. So plie and stretch, and plie and stretch. Now lift those heels up, and you're gonna keep your knees nice and straight. Good, and lift your heels up. 
Excellent. Now, can we do it in first with our arms? Let's do plie. Excellent. And plie. Now, this is tough. You really got to use your tummy muscles. And let those heels up and lower down and up. Excellent. Now, we're going to do the same thing in second position. This time, instead of a diamond, it looks like a house kind of. So just visualize the house. You have the roof and the walls. So we're going to go plie and stretch up. And plie and stretch up. And again, we're going to lift your heels up. Keep your hands on your hips. Bring your heels off the wall. Good. Let's do two. Two plies and straighten. Good. Keep those hips nice and straight. Put your knees straight to the side. And lift your heels up and lower down. Now let's do our arms in second position. So we're going to do plie and stretch and plie and stretch. Now when we releve, we're going to put our arms in first. So we're going to rise up and down and up and down. Let's do it one more time. Plie and stretch and plie and stretch around the arms and we lift up and lower down and up. Excellent. Now, we're going to take one arm and stretch all the way over to the side. A nice big stretch and reach. We're going to keep these legs nice and straight. And come up. And reach the other way. So bend straight over to the side. Excellent. Very nice. Now, let's practice some quarter bell over first. So, our arms to first. And we're open to second. We come up to high fifth. And then back down. Now, let's go up. Open to second and come to first. So we're gonna go first, second, arms up and come down. And arms up and second. Excellent. Now we do one arm to the side and other arm to the side. And we bend one arm and go like you're picking flowers and put them in a basket. And you want to keep your chest nice and lifted like you have a beautiful necklace or a chain or a bow tie or a tie, whatever you have around your neck. We really want to show it off. So you're going to take the flower, put it in the basket. You can even take the flower out of the basket and give it to someone. But just nice arms. So eventually when we learn more steps, you're going to coordinate all the arms and legs together. And we're going to do a lot of things. Now we're going to learn a tondu, which is a basic step. And to start, you're going to take the ball of your foot, you're going to put your leg up, and the point where your foot is, where your toes are, you're going to demi, it's called demi. So you're going to demi, and then you're going to point those toes. Now we're going to go demi, and move the toes back. And demi, and point the toes. And demi, bring the toes back. Now we're gonna go demi, and point. This one I want you to flex your toes, and point. And flex, and point. Flex, and point. Come back to nice first. Let's do that with the other legs. So remember, make that demi point position, and then point those toes. And demi, and bring those toes back to first. And demi, and point, and demi, and down. And then tendu, and flex, and point, and flex, and point, flex, and point, down. Now when you do the tendu to the front, it's very important, I'm going to show the side, that you don't circle your foot, you want that heel lifted. So if you had a teacup, you could serve tea on it. Or if you had water, anything you want, you just make sure that you're not putting your foot the wrong way. So you want to keep that heel nice and forward, and toes pointed. You do the same thing. Also come. So we're going to go demi point and point and demi point and in and demi and point demi and in and tendu and flex and really stretch those toes flex and lengthen that leg long and flex and long back to first. Let's do the other leg and demi and point and demi and first and demi and point Demi and first. Demi and point. Now we're gonna go flex and point. And flex and point. And flex, point. Excellent. Now for air wrestling, I'm gonna face the side so you can see. So for this one, when you do demi, you're gonna go demi and you're gonna point and you're gonna hide your heel down. You don't want you to put your heel up in the air, you want to keep that heel down because you want to keep the leg turned out. So we're gonna go demi and point. Demi, come back to first. Demi and point, demi and first. Now demi, point, and we're gonna flex. And when you point, keep that heel hidden. And flex, and point, keep the leg nice and long. And flex, and point, back to first. 
Good job. Now we do the other leg. So again, you're going to do Demi, hide that heel, Demi back to the first. And keep the hips facing forward, Demi, and point, Demi back to the first, and Demi, point, and flex, and really stretch the leg nice and long, point those toes, flex, and point, flex, point, come back to the first. Now, we're going to do a little combination where I want you to combine your tendu and your plie. So we're going to go tendu with the arms up first, plie in second, and open the arms, close first. And then tendu, plie in second, and open the arms, back to the first. Let's do it again. Tendu, plie, and open, back to the first. And tendu, plie, open, back to the first. Great job. Now another thing we're going to do is called degage, and it's just like a tendu, except you're going to lift your leg off the floor just a little bit longer. So let me get some music for you guys. And also with dance, we count. We count the music and we count how many things we do. So for this exercise, we're gonna do eight degages with the right, eight with the left, and then four, and then four, two, two, and then one, one. But you always have to use your brain, right? So ready, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and let's do the other leg. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're gonna go through your time to position. One, and two, and three, and four. So it's just like a time do, but you lift your leg and you wanna keep your hips nice and square. You don't wanna do the whole dance. We'll save that for later. Now let's do two, and then one, and two. And keep those toes nice and pointed and the leg nice and straight. Okay, now singles. This one's hard. We don't look like a penguin. We want to switch legs. Very good. Yes, when I say you want to look like a penguin, we don't want to go like this. There's definitely times for that in choreography, but not today. Now, we're going to do another position. I want you to do what's called coupe. So you're going to scoop your foot like a banana. So you're going to bend this foot to demi point, scoop the toes up to your ankle, and we'll go back to first. So Demi and scoop, back to first. And Demi and scoop, excellent. Demi, make sure that knee goes to the side, scoop. And again, from the side, you want your heel to be forward. You don't want your foot to be a funny shape. So you want it pointed like a banana and that heel coming forward. And let's hold our arms in first. So we're gonna just scoop the toes and go back to first. And scoop, excellent. Scoop and scoop. Let's do the other foot, so we're gonna go Demi, now we're going to scoop the toes like a banana and go to the ankle. Good. And Demi, down. Demi, scoop the toes. Demi, and down. Demi, and scoop the toes. Excellent. Demi, and scoop. Now right to coupe with arms in first. And coupe. And coupe. And coupe. Excellent. And coupe. Now we're going to make it basically the number four. We're going to start in coupe. You're going to keep your hands on your hips. And you're going to bring the toes to your knee. Again, with the knee to the side, and it looks like a four. So we're gonna go, sorry, we're gonna go coupe and passe. And coupe and passe. And coupe and passe. Let's bring our arms to first. Now let's bring them to high fifth because we have a great balance. Excellent. Open to the side and back down. Let's do the other leg. Coupe and passe. And coupe and passe. Coupe and passe. Coupe and passe. Make nice first position. Excellent. Bring the arms all the way up and over to the side and back down. Eventually, you, in this position, you'll do a turn. So you go up and around. I don't fall back like I just did, but that's basically why we learn this position. You can do turns. You can also do jumps in this position. So it's basic fund fundamentals. Now, we're going to do something called PK. And I know you've all played the hot lava game before. So we're gonna pretend the floor is hot lava. So basically you're gonna do a decoche, and you're gonna pique, like the floor is hot. So you're gonna lift the floor up, but up, and up, and up, up, and up. Excellent, let's do the other foot. We're gonna go up, hot floor, hot, good. Now, we're gonna combine this with our passe. So we're gonna do pique and passe. Arms to the side, and passe. Arms to the side, and passe. And the side, and passe. Side and passe. And hold the balance. 
Excellent. Let's take a nice plie. Assume the other leg. Let's redo pique and passe. Pique and passe. Pique and passe. Pique and passe. Pique, passe, hold. And take a plie and finish. Great job. Now, I know we all see videos and things of people getting their legs way up high. So today we're going to learn a grand bat ma. That's basically a kick, except we don't just kick our leg. We go through everything we learned. So we learned our tendus and degages. So a bat ma is basically a tendu and a degage, but one even higher. And you want to try not to kind of cave your back or scrunch. You want to make sure you're nice and tall, showing off that beautiful chest, whatever you're wearing. So if this one you might want to hold on to something. So we're gonna do tendu to degage and lift. And tendu, degage, and lift. Now we're gonna combine it all together and just brush. So you wanna make sure you really brush that foot. Let's do the other side. Tendu, lift, and lift all the way up. Tendu, lift, and go all the way up. Now let's just do the brush. And batma. And batma. That's what we can do it to the side. So we're gonna do tendu, lift, and lift the leg. Now we're gonna brush and go up and brush. Let's do the other legs. So we're gonna do tendu, lift, and batma. Tendu, lift, degage, and batma. Now just the brush and brush. Good. And guess what? We do the same thing in arabesque. So for arabesque, find a wall that you can put both hands. And we're gonna just do, we're gonna put our foot to the front this time in the tendu. And we're just gonna brush right away. We're not gonna do the thing today. It's time we're gonna use that brush and lift up and come back to first. And up. And you wanna to try to keep the back nice and tall and that leg nice and straight. Let's do the other leg. Let's put that foot to the front and brush and come back. And brush and brush and brush. Excellent. Also, in dance, we do a thing called balance. So for balance, it's a rhythm where you go. Down, up, down. Other foot down, up, down. So we're gonna go down, up, down. Down, we go up, point that foot, and down. And you use arms, down, up, down. 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 Now ideally, we would turn that out. So it would look like this. We're gonna go down, up, down. 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 Very good. Good, let's shake it out. Now, of course, in dance, we can also jump. So I want us to go to a nice curl position, go back to first. And we're gonna plie and jump up. And plie and jump. So you're gonna go start in a plie position, jump up and go through plie to finish. So you plie up, plie and down. Plie up and down. Plie up, plie down. And plie up, plie down. We're gonna do the same thing in second. So we get a nice second, not too big. And we're gonna do plie, for the toes, plie and straight. Plie up and plie and straighten. Plie up, plie and straighten. Plie up and plie straighten. Now I'm sure you all know jumping jacks where you go like this. So we're gonna do a ballet jumping jack basically. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do two jumps at first with our arms at first. So we're gonna do jump and jump. Then we're gonna go to second and open arms. Jump and jump. Now we're gonna go back to first. First, second, first, second, first. So let's do that all together. So let's be two jumps in first, two jumps in second, and then one in first, one in second, one in first, one in second, and back to first, and we're done. So ready? Let's get ready. We're gonna plie up, plie up, and second, with arms in second. Now single, jump, and jump, 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 and first. Excellent. Shake it out. So when you jump, you want to really use that plie. So you go as deep as you can go. So really go all the way down. And then to go up, you're going to lift the hips up like someone 
is behind you, picking you up, really tall. You're gonna straighten those legs and point those toes. So you're gonna go up and plie to land. You don't wanna land with straight legs because you can hurt your knees. So you wanna make sure you use that plie, that beautiful diamond. We're gonna protect it, right? Diamond's our girl's best friend. So we're gonna plie up and plie, straighten. Plie up. Good. You can also do it in parallel if you drop comfortable with a turnout. Just make sure you bend those knees, straighten and bend. So bend, straight, bend. Bend, straight, bend. That's all you have to think about is bend, straight, bend. Okay, so to finish, I'm gonna teach you a step called chasse. And does it sound some, like something familiar to you? Sounds like chase, right? So you can also use this step and play a game with your brother or sister, your mom or dad, a friend. So basically, the, the action is slide, jump, and down. Slide, jump, and down. So today we're gonna to go from first position, so let's put our feet back in, open up, and we're gonna plie, jump, and down. Plie, jump, and down. So it travels to this high. Now, if you want, I like to do, with my kids what I usually teach them, we do a chasse contest. But you can't run, and you can't not point your toes. So you basically, I'd say on your mark, it's set, go, you just slide up, slide up, slide up, slide up. So that's a fun little thing you can do at home with friends or family. But for right now, let's practice. So it's, I'll do it on the diagonal so you can see. So we go slide and down, slide up, down, slide up, down. We can go the other way. Slide up, down, slide up, down, slide up, down. And the reason why it's called chasse is because when you're sliding, it's like you're chasing your butt that you slid out with. So let's do four going this way and four going the other way. So five, six, seven, eight. Slide up, one, and two, and three, and four. Let's go the other way. One, and two, and three, and four. I think we do our arms too. So let's put our arms in a second. Then we're gonna go one, and two, three, and four. Let's go the other way. One, and two, and three, and four. Excellent. Let's shake it out. Now, after every Big dance you do, whether it's ballet, or lyrical, or jazz, or musical theater, you always take the bow, always. So, today we're gonna stand in our first position, and I'm gonna face the diagonal, and we're gonna start with arms in front of your position, and we're gonna go to first, open to second, go up to fifth, and then we're gonna take a plie, and stretch, and plie, bring the arms back down, and lower it. Let's do it again. You do arms, and first, and second, arms up, and come through a plie, stretch, now we're gonna step aside, point that foot tendu, step foot back, and we're gonna do a curtsy. If you're a male, you will you step to the side, put your feet together, and bow. So let's do that one more time. I'll show the female bows. And you can do any bow you'd like. You can do whichever one you like best or feel more comfortable. And step to the side, and bow. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I will be back for more if you guys want some more, and I hope you learned some fun ballet today. Have a great day.